in the previous lecture we understand how to create this beautiful registration form inside this project in this lecture i'm going to show you how you can navigate through all your pages one by one using browser router module so let me show you how you can navigate through different routes using browser router module so inside this explorer let me just close all these unwanted files right from here and inside my project right down here inside the source folder and inside that I have these components inside these components I have import folder inside this component I'm gonna create a new folder with the name pages and inside this pages folder I'm gonna create my different pages of this website let me just leave this pages folder as it is and let me first install my browser auto module so I'm gonna open my terminal and I'm gonna click on this new terminal icon to open a new terminal inside this terminal I'm gonna first change the directory and enter into my Mern app and here I'm gonna say npm i for install and then here I'm gonna install react router dome so I'm gonna just install this module in my project you can notice once I have that let me show you how you can use this module in your app.js file now you can notice inside your main component inside your app.js here I have the registration form what if I want to display the login form in that case I need to remove this registration and add here my login form I want to navigate through my different pages using this URL when I specify here login I want to open the login page and when I specify here register I want to open the register page and to the root URL I'm going to specify the home page so to do that here inside my app.js let me first get rid of this logo from here to remove the unwanted warnings and just down here I'm going to first import the react router do module so I'm going to say here import in the curly braces I'm going to import some modules so I'm going to say here browser router then I'm going to call switch and then I'm going to call route so I'm going to import all these modules from react router dom so once I have all these three modules inside this project let me show you how you can use it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of both these components right from here and then I'm going to call here a component called browser router like this and inside this browser router I'm going to call a component switch inside this comp and now inside this component I'm going to call a browser router route component so I'm going to say here route like this just out of that to this route here I'm going to first specify the path of the URL so what I'm going to do is if the path is equal to login then I'm going to display a component so I'm going to call here a property called component and then I'm going to specify my component name you can notice here I have here registration and base login so if the path is equal to login I want to display the login form so instead of this registration let me first import my login form here let me get rid of this registration form then I'm going to add here my login form import that inside this file like this and to this component I'm going to specify my component like this inside the curly braces now let me just save the changes and as you can see I'm not going to get anything here to the root route because I don't have any root route inside this project I have the login route so let me just navigate to the login route so here I'm going to specify forward slash and then specify login when I head on to the login route you can notice I'm going to have my login page now you can notice I don't have my left section of this login so what I'm going to do is instead of adding my left section inside this file I'm going to I'm going to add that inside a dedicated file so instead of just having the component file inside your project I'm going to create a new file inside these pages and I'm going to name that file login.js and inside this file I'm going to first simply create a login function so I'm going to say here react functional component inside this react functional component instead of this division tag right here I'm going to add my login code I'm going to copy this code right from app.js and specify that here and instead of this browser router I'm going to call my base login and my login form so what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply import base login from 
then I'm going to specify here double dot forward slash and inside my imports I have a component called base login I'm going to import that here along with that I'm going to say import login form and then in the single code specify double dot forward slash to navigate to the previous folder and then I'm going to specify imports login form and I'm going to just grab this base login and specify that here like this do the same for this login component as well I'm going to copy this and here I'm going to add my login component like this so now I'm going to have my left side and the right side of the login form let me save this file back to my app.js and instead of specifying this login form here I can now specify this login.js file so instead of this path I'm going to get rid of this path from here and then I'm going to specify component then specify pages and inside that I have login.js so I'm going to specify here login and inside that login I have a login component so I'm going to specify here login just copy it and specify that here inside this component so to the route I'm going to specify my login component when I save the changes you can notice I'm going to have my login form when I have the route login I'm going to get my login form now let me just do the same thing for the registration so I'm going to create a new file inside these pages here I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to name it register.js inside this file I'm going to create a simple react functional component and instead of this div I'm going to copy this complete code right from the app and specify that inside this register.js file like this then I'm going to get rid of this browser router module and here I'm going to import base login from imports and inside that I have base login component I'm going to import the base login component then I'm going to import the register form from in the single code then I'm going to specify imports and inside that I have register form so once I have both these component I'm going to specify that inside this division tag like this just like this let me save this file back to the app.js and here let me create another route so just after this route here I'm going to create another route for the register so here I'm going to first specify the path of register so path is going to be register and then I'm going to specify the component is equal to in the curly braces let me just import my register component here instead of this base login I'm going to get rid of this base login and specify here import register from in the single code then specify here component pages inside that I have register just specify this component right here like this let me save this file and now let me just show you how you can navigate through different pages so right now in the URL I have the login so this will just open the login form when I specify here register and when I press enter you can notice this will open the register form now once I have my login route and the registration route let me create my home route as well now let's suppose once you successfully log in you want to navigate user to the home route so let me create a home page as well inside this project so inside these pages I'm going to create a new file and specify here home.js inside this file I'm going to simply create a react functional component and to this save I'm going to specify a class name which is going to be container inside this div I'm going to create h4 heading tag and say welcome to home page save this file back to the app.js and at the top just after this register here I'm going to import home from component pages and then I'm going to specify here home.js just after that I'm going to copy this home component and right here I'm going to create another route for the home so I'm going to specify path here path is equal to forward slash forward slash means the root route and to the root route I'm going to specify component home so I'm going to specify home component here now when I save the changes you can notice I'm going to get a welcome page on the register route this will happen because you have the forward slash 
to this register route as well. So React will match the first route and display your component. So what I'm going to do is here I'm going to specify a property called exact. Now this property is going to solve our problem. When I save the changes, you can notice I'm going to have my registration form. When I open the login, I'm going to have my login form. And when I open my root route, I'm going to have my home page. In the next lecture, I'm going to add a beautiful navigation bar to this home page.